Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 31 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about displaying images in an ASP.NET Grid View control using Image Field. In part 30 of the ASP.NET Grid View tutorial, we discussed about displaying images using Template Field. In this video, we'll discuss about displaying images using Image Field. Please watch part 30 before proceeding with this video because this is continuation to part 30. And if you remember, we have configured this grid view control in such a way that, you know, the first four columns, employee ID, name, gender, and city, these four columns are the bound columns, and the photo column, which is displaying the image, is actually a template field. So if I flip this to the source mode, look at that, you know, this is the template field which is actually displaying that image, you know, this image. And then if you look at the template field, within that we have an item template, and within item template we have an image control. And we have set the image URL property of this image to the photo property of the employee object. Because, you know, from this table the data is retrieved using this employee data access layer. The photo path, you know, column value is stored in the photo property of the employee object. And the grid view is actually bound to whatever is returned by this get all employees method which is going to actually return list of employees as you can see in the IntelliSense there. So that's why we are actually binding you know the image URL property to the photo pro you know to the photo property of the employee object. Now instead of using this template field to display uh, you know the photo of an employee with the grid view control I actually want to use an image field to do the same thing. Okay, for now let's leave the template field there and let's have, you know, an image field as well. So I'm going to add an image field. Just like any other field of the grid view control, the image field can also have a header text. So let's set header text to photo. And now I want to, f you know, basically bind this image field, you know, to the photo property of the employee object. And to do that, you know, this image field has got a property called data image URL field. Okay, so now I need to set this to photo property of the employee object. That's it. So with this change, if I go ahead and run this now, the, you know, the photo of employee should be displayed within the grid view control. Look at this. The first column is actually, uh, the first photo column is the template field. The second photo column is our image field. Okay, now obviously the width and height we need to adjust that. Okay, so when we were using the image, we have set the height and width of that image. Similarly, for the image field, we don't have, I mean, it's not the height and width, but we have to set something called control style height and width properties. So control style hyphen height, I want that to be 100 pixels, and similarly, control style hyphen width and that one again 200 pixels so with these two properties in place now the width should be adjusted you know to that 100 by 100 pixels so now look at this how easy it is to display images using an image field all you need to set is the data image URL field property and the width and height Okay, but if you were to use a template field, you have to define an item template and then a, an image control, you know, inside that item template. So keep in mind that image field is designed specifically for the purpose of displaying images in data bound controls like grid view, details view, etc. So it's always better to use image field over template field for the purpose of displaying images within those controls. Okay, and please remember that we are using the data image URL field of the uh, image field. Uh, you know, basically to display the images. Uh, to control the width and height of the images within the grid view control, we have used control style height and control style width properties. And another important property is the alternate text property. So uh, if, if the image is missing for some reason, let's say I don't have, you know, at the moment we have all the images here, whatever, you know, the path for the path that is specified within the table, we have those respective images here. Now let me delete this John image from the image folder. Okay, and then let me actually run this. Actually, let's get rid of this template field. We don't need that anymore. 
So let me get rid of that. Now we only have the image field. So let me run it now. So at the moment, I don't have you know the image for John. So when the actually I think that's coming from the browser cache. Let's actually browse this with another browser. Let me browse the page using Internet Explorer. So browse with. Let me choose Internet Explorer Browse. OK, look at that. Since I don't have an image of John within that folder, you know, it's displaying you know, with that red cross. Instead of that, I want uh, an alternate text to be displayed. If, if that's the case, we can use alternate text property. So all I need to set here is on the image field, you can also have something called alternate text. And I am putting a message like image of photo not found. OK, so now if we run this for any employee who doesn't have a photo, you know, that's what is the message you see. Again, this is Google Chrome. So Google Chrome doesn't work correctly. Uh, but whereas when I browse that within Internet Explorer, let's browse this. Internet Explorer, and then it should actually show us, you know, the alternate text there photo not found. Now if I actually right click on the page and then uh, view the page source, look at that, that alternate text is actually rendered as an uh, alt tag for that image, you know, for the image HTML image tag. The alternate text property is actually rendered as an alternate attribute. Okay, now for Google Chrome to work, you know, um, this actually has to be rendered as name attribute. OK, so Google Chrome, it's a known issue with Google Chrome. Uh, whatever is specified for alternate attribute in the image, you know, it doesn't display that properly. But it does work with Internet Explorer as expected. All right. Now, if you want to have different alternate text for each image displayed. Now, look at this. I don't have, you know, John image. That's why when John image is rendered, you know, it says photo not found. Now, instead of that, you know, I want to have something like you know for each employee if mark photo is not there mark photo not found you know john photo not found mary photo not found i want a customized alternate text for each employee is that possible absolutely if you have to do that then there is a property called a uh, data alternate text field okay you can bind that field to the to a property of your employee object. Obviously, that has to be there in the database table, and you'll have to populate your employee object with that property, and then use that with the grid view control. Let's see how to actually achieve this. And what I have basically done here is, you know, at the moment, if you look at this employee table, it doesn't have an alternate text column. Let's go ahead and add an additional column. So I'm going to alter this table, add that column. So by now, we should have that alternate text column, but it doesn't have any data there. So let's update the table with that data. So now if you look at this, you know, for mark, if the photo is missing, then we have this alternate text mark photo is not found. Similarly for John, Mary, and Mike. Okay. Now what I basically want to do is I want to bind to this, you know, uh, column. Okay. If the photo is not found, we want to display the respective message within the grid view control. OK, so to do that, all you need to do is you have to specify alternate data alternate text field. OK, so let's go ahead and specify that. So data alternate text field, and I want to set that to this column, alternate text column. So let's actually specify that to alternate text. OK, so now obviously if we run at this time, we are going to get an error. Actually, yeah, let's run that. OK, again, it's being rendered using Google Chrome, um, but we'll change that in a bit. Look at this. Um, we get this runtime error, and that makes sense, because a field or property with name alternate text was not found in the selected data source. Now, the column is present within the table. But then we are not retrieving data directly from the table. Instead, we have employee data access layer, which is serving the data to our grid view control. So obviously, we need to add a property here. So I'm going to call this property as public string alternate text. You can give it any meaningful name that you want. I just happen to choose 
alternate text as the property name and obviously we need to populate that field I mean that property of the employee object so employee dot alternate text is equal to we want to retrieve that from the you know column database column alternate text and and we are populating whatever value that we get back we are populating that with this property of the employee object and the employee object get returned so now actually let's browse this with Internet Explorer let's actually set that as the default and then browse okay so we have here look at this John photo not found let's actually delete let's close the other browsers let's actually delete uh, you know Mary photo as well and now let's refresh this browser window okay I think that's coming from the browser cache let's rerun the application so now look at this for John it says John photo is not found Mary Mary photo is not found okay so we get customized alternate text for each employee and to do that obviously we have used you know data alternate text property so if the image path is null and if you want to have a different image then use null image URL property you know it can happen that you know this photo path is null for some reason and if that's the case and if you want to display a different image if the photo path is null it's also possible all you need to set is you know set null image URL property and if you want to display some text when that URL is null I'm then use null display text property let's actually look at that in action it's it's easy to achieve so let me go ahead and set you know the photo path property is equal to null where employee ID is equal to 1 so at the moment if you look at this employee ID 1 he doesn't have a photo path defined at all okay so it's null if that's the case then if you want to show a display uh, you know different image altogether then you can use this null image URL property so I'm going to set this null image URL property to any of the image now I have another image here null alternate image let's copy that and let's put that within the images folder okay basically I want to display this image when the photo uh, path is null so I'm going to set that so within images folder for slash and the photo name is null alternate image dot PNG alright so now let's go ahead and run that so for employee ID 1 there is no image defined I mean the path is null so look at that I get null alternate image and instead of that if you instead of the image if you want text to be displayed then you can specify you know null display text property so instead of null image URL I'm going to use null display text is equal to you know no or you can say image path is null so there's a lot of customization that's available if we use this image field uh, basically instead of template field so image path is null alright so it's always better to use image field if you want to display images within the grid view control over template field. On this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.